Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookcraft. My name is Stacy, and this is the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. So in the last episode, we bred little Piglet Wilbur and today is such an exciting episode because we are going to be checking out the brand new barn. It is a new day. Do you guys notice anything right now? Besides the zombie that I hear? Did you notice it? The horses are missing from the balloon buggy. That is because they are now over in their home in the barn. And they can go back and forth now. It doesn't have to be like they're just there. Uh, now they have like an actual home to go back to, which is where they are right now. Okay, so the sun is coming up. I'm going to get straight to the word of the episode. Where is that zombie? Today's word of the episode is going to be harebrained. And harebrained basically means a uh, kind of like a not very well thought out idea is a good uh, definition of harebrained. It's, it's maybe rash or ill-judged. So if you have a harebrained idea, it's like, oh, that might work, but it's kind of, it's sort of harebrained. <laughs> That's a pretty fun word. Uh, okay, so that is the word of the episode. Um, let's grab my copy of Charlotte's Web, put it in my little hot bar right there. And then I believe Nathan is on the server. He has been working hard on, uh, come on, dog ear, come on. Working hard on the new barn. So let's go over and meet him at the Charlotte's Web train line. Nathan, are you in here? Hey, Stacy. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. I'm pretty good. So are you super excited to show me the train? I am. Yay! Okay. Well, well not just the train, like the barn itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course I meant the, the barn. Yeah. But this is actually the first time that we are riding the Charlotte's Web train, too. We haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. So this is this is fun, and I think do you think Dog Ear will be okay if I just let him teleport? I think he'll be okay. All right, let's go. He might stick around for a little bit, but I think he'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of books here for him to choose from. Mm-hmm. All right, lead the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here I come. Oh look, there's my little apple tree with a uh, little um Wilbur in there. <gasps> Okay, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't, I'm not looking, Nathan. Mm. I'm not looking. Ooh, we're going over the water. Oh, look at the, look at the station from this angle. <gasps> we're going through a tree. Okay, actually, I want to jump off. I want to jump off. I want to jump off. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm coming down here. I thought I heard Dog Ear take damage. So I'm going to quickly grab some pork chops if Dog Ear is here. Did he teleport? And I'm not giving away the um the station yet but uh is dog ear okay is he gonna teleport i mean i meant the barn not the station <coughs> um okay he's not here oh no oh my gosh hi hi dog ear he was hiding in the tall grass let me give you a pork chop just in case oh you have love hearts you're fine um okay i'm gonna come over here don't look anyone don't look anyone um let's come over here let's back up to it i want to do like a grand reveal of the barn in its finished state. Nathan worked so hard on it. Okay, jump up here. Uh, let's jump up here. Okay. All right. Count me down, Nathan. Okay, ready? Yeah. Make sure your eyes are closed. They're closed. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Am I am I facing it? I turned. No, no, am no, I... no, 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 no more. No, little, little, little more. Little okay. More, more, more. Okay. A lot more. Okay. More, more. Okay. L Can I open more. him yet? Um, well, well, there you go. Good? Uh, a little too far. Too far? Just, okay, just there? Right there, right there, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. And... <gasps> oh, it's beautiful! It's so beautiful. I mean, I've actually already seen it, but I wanted, I wanted the viewers to experience it. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous barn. All those mixes of woods. It looks so good. All right, so give me give me the full tour, Nathan. Oh, okay. Oops, uh, let me put my sword away. Sorry. Uh, this is uh, MC Cribs with, <laughs> with Nathan and Stacy. Look at this. All right, here, here we have uh, the, the entrance. Oh, these are like really big barn sliding doors like in the book. Ooh, very nice. Uh, all the horse pens are here. We have uh, 
I think nine horses are in these pens right now. Um, no, that's not uh, true. So, <laughs> seven. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is where I put the balloon buggy horses. This is a Dusty, Footnote, and Inkwell. Hi, guys. How are you? I should give them wheat or something. Or like an apple. <gasps> I have an apple on me. Who should I give the apple to? Hmm. Ooh. Who's your favorite? Ooh, let's give it to the new horse. Uh, okay, so there's oh, a new okay. horse that I brought back from the village. So then over here is where uh, Quill and Dubois are. And then over here is E.B. White. Uh, and then this is the new horse that I told you guys I was going to bring back. It's so cute. And I wanted to name it Typo. I was all excited about my name. I thought it was awesome. Nathan, you didn't like it. Why? Because it made it seem like you were saying he was a mistake, that he was, he was just He's a He's not a mistake. I can't believe you yeah. you would say that about typo. Okay, I, I hear it now. I, I hear yeah. it now. Yeah. Um, okay, so then you suggested that we name it after the inventor of the typewriter to kind of keep yes. with the theme. And we had mm -hmm. no idea who the inventor of the typewriter is. Um, I'm mm -hmm. going to go ahead and take down the sign um, and tell me... What is the name of the inventor of the typewriter? His name is Pellegrino Turi, and he was an <laughs> Italian who, in 1808, invented the typewriter. And along that, along with that, he invented a carbon paper to provide ink for his machine. Pellegrino Turi. <laughs> a fine name for a horse, if you ask me. Indeed. That rhymed. I didn't mean that to rhyme. All right, welcome, Pellegrino Turi. Let me give you an apple. Oh, look! <laughs> he opened his mm. mouth. I don't yeah, think yeah. I've actually tamed him. Really? That's probably why he ate the apple mm. so so willingly. All right, um, right, let's see the rest of the barn. So up here, this is like my favorite thing. You put in all of the sheep with yep. all of their beds. And you even brought down the brown sheep that was uh, stuck in the station. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just missing. I don't know what happened. I, I kind of feel like they might have been struck by lightning. Because I definitely <laughs> had gray and light gray sheep at one yeah. point. So we'll have to do some breeding up here. Um, and some dying of them. But uh, this is so cool too. Like the, the train track comes through the barn. Which is awesome. And then I can put like I can put the brown wool in this chest and it's just this is oh they're like nice and tucked away from the weather. This is perfect, Nathan. Glad you like it. I love it. Okay, so now then down to the basement. <gasps> the basement of the barn. Oh, I <laughs> love this too. Okay, so over here we've got chicken feed, which is seeds and wheat with all these hay bales. Then we've got uh, potato flakes, which is all the potatoes that I got at the village. Uh, pumpkins and melons. I don't have too many pumpkins, actually. How did, how did I get that many melons? Oh, that's cactus. <laughs> I put cactus in here. That's, well, we won't talk about it. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, over here, organic carrots from the village. I'm actually going to take a couple of these because... We have over here a, um, let's see, oh, this is, oh, this is grass-fed milk, my buckets of milk. And then over here we've got an empty pen, uh, which we want to put rabbits into. And then on this side we've got the chickens, uh, which is pretty cool. And they are actually on carpet. Why, Nathan? We have this really cool sorting machine that's a bunch of hoppers underneath them. The entire floor is actually made of hoppers, and we covered it with carpet so that when whenever they lay an egg, they'll go into the hoppers and go into this chest over here. Can I see one of the hoppers? I just want to see in this texture pack. Yeah, sure. Woo! Oh, oh, that chicken went in. Sorry. Uh, okay, and then come over here. Oh, look at all the eggs. <gasps> what can I do with this many eggs? Oh, my gosh. No, that would be who. Th this is only my house in this world. Yep. Like I'm not gonna egg my own house, Nathan. Uh, in the future. And then out here, oh, this Nathan is where Wilbur is going to live. Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. It's exactly how it's described in the book. I'm in love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I want to come back in here and, like, admire it from a distance. <gasps> well, there's bunnies back here! We oh, can totally get these bunnies. But, oh, look at yeah. it. Look at it there. Oh, 
fine uh, handiwork, Nathan. I have to. Thank you. I I mean, I have to hand it to you. Thank you. All right. So should we actually maybe let's get the bunnies in now? Um, Think so. Yeah, because otherwise, then like once we get Wilbur in, we'll have to. Um, I don't want to op- keep opening the gate. Mm. So let me grab. Okay, I got carrots, bunnies. Oh my gosh, there's like there's two over there too. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, black and white one. I like this one. Oh, I like these two. All right, come on, guys. Come on, this way. This way. Oh, they're they're fast. They're into it. Uh oh, he got stuck. Come here, bunny. What oh. happened to you? What happened to this guy? Come here, move. Yeah. Come on. Not too hyper. Not the smartest bunny. Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh no, the black and white one doesn't love me anymore. Come here. Uh. Come on, bunnies. Oh, okay, got this one. Now I just need the black oh, and oh, white one. Oh. Okay. All right, come on, guys. Where's he going? This way. No, no, come back. No, come back. Come on. All right. Nope, come on. <laughs> okay, do I have a lead? I'm, I'm about to go get a lead, Nathan. Uh. How come you don't think he's into the carrots? Maybe he already had his carrots today? Oh, it's getting dark. Come on. Bunny, I want you to be. He d- I mean, he knows. He knows I'm leading him towards captivity, I think. I think he does. And he's like, excuse me, but that's not the life that. Look at him go. Look at him. Mm-hmm. He ran away. All right. Well, can oh, I just it. get like two bunnies at least? Put a lead on that bunny, Nathan. Put a lead yes, on sir, that ma'am. bunny. Oh, look at the sunset. Come on, bunny. If I can at least get this one. Here you go. Come on. Oh, gosh. He can't really... He can't do the fence. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go back That's and forth. Funny. All right. I give up. Just lead him in, Nathan. I, I give up. All right, dog ear. Come you on. should maybe sit here. Oh, stupid bunny. Come on, bunnies. Go. In here you come. Uh, right in here. Uh, into oh. this pen. And then I am actually going to breed them. I'm super excited about to see a little baby. Bu- oh, 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 hello. Oh. Hello, in here. <laughs> All right, I kind of helped then. Uh, okay. Yep. And now let me actually come out, give you a carrot, and give you a carrot. Let's turn away. Look at the sunset. Look how gorgeous oh, that sunset yeah. is, actually. And then oh. <gasps> it's a baby black and white one, Nathan. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Come here, little bunny. Mama, move, Mama Bunny. Oh. Look at his little pink nose. Have you ever seen something so precious? I love him. Um. All right, should we go upstairs and sleep with the sheep? I kind of feel like that's Probably. a cool thing to do. Yeah. You might have to go into survival mode. Yeah, we'll see. Oops. I, I call the blue bed. Uh, well, they're all this. Oh, I see. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with uh, light blue. Light blue is my favorite in this texture pack. I think that's, um, wait a minute. Where are my light blue sheep? Nathan, where are my light? Right right next to me. Oh, so I don't have any cyan sheep? They're they're right next to the light blue. No, they're not. There's no sheep in there. There, Seriously? No. The cyan sheep are gone. Escape artists. Uh, okay. All right. Sleeping with the sheep. And now all we have to do, Nathan, is go back and get little Piglet Wilbur. So let's go. All right, so I need to actually eat a little bit. But you've prepared a transport method for Wilbur? Yes, I have. Is this a good idea, Nathan? Do you think he's going to get hurt? Nah, I think he'll be fine. Okay. Um, all right. Hi, little buddy. How have you been? Look, <gasps> hello. I got the carrot on the stick, your favorite. Remember from last time? Okay, come on. You've outgrown this home. It's time to go to your new awesome pen.
Careful, careful, Nathan. How's he doing? How's he doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. Okay, be careful, Wilbur. Be careful. Be safe, Wilbur. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't don't let him fall, Nathan. I won't. Oh, I, oh this is exciting. We get to go through. <gasps> Ooh, Wilbur, be careful. Oh, oh no. Wait, what? Oh, ah. Oh, oh no. Wilbur, he's stuck. He's going back. Nathan, he's going back. What? What? He's going back. Catch him. Catch him. Oh, wait. Did he stop? Yeah, he stopped. <laughs> He's in here in the barn. <laughs> Do you want to give him a little nudge? Sure. Oh, actually, I think I can't get down there now. I'm going to have to break this. <gasps> Is he okay? Yep. Perfect. Ooh, okay. There we go. And down. <gasps> Wilbur, you're here. <gasps> Oh my goodness, come here. Come see your new home. So come is this? Here. Carrot on a stick. Carrot on a stick. Well, He's still adjusting. He just really, yeah, he really wasn't into the carrot on the stick. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. All right, Wilbur. Well, oh, look, oh, he's going go. to eat his slop. Aww. Oh. All right, he looks so great. He looks like he was meant to be here just rolling around in the mud. Look how happy mm -hmm. he is. Oh, this is perfect. All right, Wilbur. I'm going to leave you to it. Um, I guess let's go. We'll just we'll just leave him here to get adjusted. Um, yeah. Should we oh. see if we can breed more rabbits, actually? Sure. Okay. Uh, did you know you can actually use dandelions to do that? <gasps> I'd heard that, but I'd, I've never actually tried it. I don't really believe it's true. Should I go grab some? Are there I some out here? Okay, I'm going to try it. Like, Make sure just you close the gate. Oh. actual dandelions, not like dandelion yellow, just the actual plant. Actual dandelions. Okay, I got two. Uh, I'm just going to. Gonna... Oh, Wilbur. Wilbur, you don't know how good you have it here. <laughs> All right. I don't know if it's been enough time, so here we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, he got hearts? It works, dandelions! Oh, that's odd. Oh, it's like a slow embrace. They're like running yeah. to each other. <gasps> we got another black and white one. Aww. Oh, all right. Our rabbit, our rabbit collection is growing. Indeed. Well, Nathan, this has been an exceptional episode of Bookcraft. Thank you for all of the hard work on the barn. Uh, we still have work to do on the farm. Uh, let's go out actually and look around. Let's take horses. Uh, who do I want to ride? I want to hmm. take. I want to take Inkwell. Uh, I think I'll take... I think you know who you have to take. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I don't have a saddle on him. Oh, oh I'll just take one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you're going to take Dubois? Yeah. I did not see that coming. I thought for sure that you would take Pellegrino Tree. I'm not sure he's tamed, actually. Oh, that's right. He's a wild, wild stallion. Besides, uh, Dubois and I have a, a unique bond. That is true. All right, so to really complete the uh, Zuckerman farm from the book Charlotte's Web, I think we're going to need to add some crops in this area, like, you know, basically everything, like wheat and pumpkins and potatoes and carrots. And then back here in these pastures, I think, is where all of our cows should be grazing. I don't know, uh, Nathan, uh, what are your thoughts? Oh, definitely. Okay, cool. Uh, where are you, by the way? Uh, I got stuck in a tree. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I think Wilbur is going to be very happy in his new home. I think he is. Oh, look, he's back there on a haystack. Aww. Oh. All right, well, that basically takes us through chapter three in the book, if you are reading along. If you are, don't forget to send me a photo of yourself holding your copy of the book. Uh, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We've got lots of things to do in the next episode. Maybe the appearance of Templeton? <laughs> uh, we're going to have to cook up something interesting for that. Anyway, until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.